All right, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I know that it's going to be 415s, of course, DC audio. But I don't know if I'm going to bring the speakers all the way, all the way to the B pillar and do a big port on the side or if I want to do a bandpass box with a driver side port. I'm weighing out all my differences right now. And I guess once I start cutting, I'll find out. But the bottom line is, if I do something to this car and it doesn't work out, don't hold it against it, brother, because it's all experimental. Could be good, could be bad. But follow me, and let's find out together. Before I start any wall, gotta make sure you can't see none of the garbage through the side windows, because it's not always pretty behind the wall. So I got an idea. No need a tint, we're gonna dip. As long as you do this from the inside of the car, it should be fine. I wouldn't do it on the outside, that'd be terrible. Let's see. Yep, nice and wet. About two or three coats. Completely black. Looks just like tint that you can't see through. Now I just gotta hit that window over there, and the back window, and I'll be tinted up. Alright, side window is plaster dipped, but the big back window, we gotta tint the right way. Too much area, don't want it to start cracking or whatever. So you know who I call Mike from Tint 2K. As soon as he's done, I can start building back here. Alright, check it out. Here's the progress so far. Always the hardest part about building a wall is deciding what you're going to do, what's going to work best, what's going to fit. And uh, once you decide that, then you got to like go in there and start piecing it all together. And what you thought you were going to do might not always be what you are going to do. But I'm just taking it piece by piece. And in the end, I guess it'll be what it is. But here's the cavern so far. All the way to the B pillar. It's a little sloppy. None of the boards are fastened together. They're just kind of tacked into place. There'll be lots of screws, lots of glue, fiberglass, all kinds of stuff. We're going to turn this thing into one big cavern. And I'll decide on my front face. More than likely 415s to the B pillar with a big driver's side port and a lot of power. Just to give you a little hint on what I'm thinking about, I've tried this a few ways, but I always keep going back to the standard front facing 415s and huge driver's side port idea because this thing's gonna howl but I also want it to do good numbers I got the front baffle two layers of three-quarter two layers of one inch so she's about three and a half inches thick that should be good that should be plenty thick plus I'm gonna have fiberglass on it too so it should be pretty strong and these foam rings are just so I can place where the woofers are going to go without having to drag an 80 pound woofer around the shop. I'm going to attach some 2x4s to the back panels as well for a little bit more strength and to give me something to attach to. Alright, here's what we got so far. 2x4s lining the box on the back. I got some 2x4s on the sides. That's what those boards are attached to. They're attached to the steel. And I got two by fours running across the wheel wells and they're foamed in. Getting ready to fiberglass all these seams to make them a little smoother. Kind of some crazy angles. So I got a board 
screwed into a 2x4 and then the top board screwed into another 2x4 and then they're joined together but a little bit of fiberglass over all the seams will make it even stronger some 19 ounce fiberglass and a little bit of resin this thing will be ready to go been working on this for about three days making a big mess it's all fiberglassed up and all the seams I'm gonna lay the entire box everything's numbered where it goes that way when I get it wet I won't forget where it goes it's all cut up to the right size so it's kind of dark in here fiberglass top to bottom all the seams even upside down now it's time to put the front face plate on make it part of the car for sale on eBay, but everybody on the internet will get all your contact info. And then after that, all that contact info will be given to various porn sites. Little trim panel. Did you do your social security number, Jeff? Alright, so I can officially make a YouTube video. Video number two. Let me go ahead and show you what I got going on. Body work and stuff isn't done to the box yet. So it's still not perfect and sanded and everything, but as you can see, the entire box is fiberglassed and foamed in. The box and the car is now one. And then you're not going to like. Uh, up upstairs, no, that right? No, the basketball IQ not there. That guy should never shoot a jump shot. Stop shooting three Tune in to video number three of Project DGAF. Four is a first order. Yeah.